If you ever find yourself setting up camp in the Arctic, frostbite could be the least of your concerns. You might want to be more worried about encountering the largest carnivorous land species in the world. Polar bears might look cute and cuddly, but they're definitely at the top of the food chain, so good luck with that. What would happen if you encountered a polar bear? What's the polar bear's main food source? Is it humans? And are polar bears simply misunderstood? You might not fare so well in hand-to-paw combat with a polar bear, but from a distance, they are magnificent. Polar bears are found throughout the Arctic regions of Canada, Russia, and Norway. They spend most of their lives on sea ice, so climate change has caused polar bear territory to melt right out from under their paws. Recently, their populations have been forced to move inland toward towns and villages, and they've increasingly been coming into contact with people because of it. Polar bears are naturally curious, and when they wander into areas with people nearby, they're just following their nose. Although they generally mean no harm, I would still keep my distance if I were you. A hungry polar bear won't back down. They will show no fear approaching you, flashing their ginormous teeth. You can try to make yourself big, wave your arms, and talk in a stern voice, and it would be a valiant effort, but your opponent might weigh in at 600 kilograms and would be more than three meters when standing on its hind legs. I doubt you have a chance, sorry. Between 1870 and 2014, there were 73 confirmed attacks, 20 of which were fatal. More recently, 2018 saw two separate fatal attacks in Canada's northern regions, including the death of a father protecting his children from an aggressive bear. The fate of bears that attack people in encounters like these is bleak. Often, they are euthanized or physically removed from their territory. Despite the increase in incidents involving serious injuries to people, on average, there are only three polar bear attacks each year. The best way to prevent yourself from poking the bear is to avoid them altogether. And maybe also don't poke them. Make sure you're respectful of where they live and keep in mind that they are just trying to get by like the rest of us. Instead of fearing polar bears, we should be in awe of them. You might think polar bears are white and fluffy, but did you know that their fur is actually transparent? When the sun reflects off the white snow, polar bears blend right into the tundra, providing the perfect camouflage. Their paws have tiny bumps that provide extra traction on slippery terrain, and their toes are webbed, which makes them incredible swimmers. They can travel up to 687 kilometers without stopping and swim for up to 10 days straight. Watch out, Michael Phelps. With all that exercise, polar bears work up a healthy appetite. They spend half their time hunting and scavenging for food. Seals are essential to their diet because their blubber is high in fat. They can eat up to two kilograms of fat every day, which helps maintain their body weight. Every kilo counts when you need to stay warm in the bitter cold. They stake out the breathing holes of seals and wait for an unsuspecting future meal to pop its head up. Then the polar bear attacks. It's one vicious game of whack-a-mole. In 2008, the U.S. Endangered Species Act listed polar bears as threatened. Now, there are only about 26,000 in the wild. We might think they seem scary, but human activity has caused them way more harm than they've ever done to us. Typical. Another animal threatened by climate change caused by humans is the manatee. Check out our video about them to learn more. Stalking seals and staying warm in Arctic extremes is what polar bears do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures. <laughs>